Hi, I'm Andrew Cothin. And I'm Jake Galensky. And uh, we are f finishing up our freshman year at Buff State. And uh, this semester we took uh, Math 103, Introduction to Mathematics. And uh, in it we learned uh, Fibonacci numbers. And uh, for the final project, we wanted to combine math and music. And we thought that this would be the best way to do it. First we wrote a piece where we answer each other with an increasing Fibonacci number of notes. And uh, the last one is, it goes up to 34, played by me. And uh, we go up to 21 and repeat that. And uh, hope you like it. So as musical as that last piece sounded, um, a piece like that really wouldn't come up in pop music much. So what we tried to do was write another one based completely off of the Fibonacci numbers again, but this time would be more likely to be in pop music. So with the chords, what we did is a chord, a basic chord is composed of the first, third, and fifth note of a major scale. And um, one, three, five are obviously the Fibonacci numbers. So those are all one, three, five chords. The melody itself uh, kind of does what we did before with increasing Fibonacci's. It goes one, one, two, three in the um, amount of notes we play in the melody. And then the rhythm itself is in six time, which can be counted as one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, which again is a Fibonacci timing. So. I hope you enjoy this one. Personally, relating our favorite hobby to a math concept was actually a lot of fun, and it was uh, allowed us to be pretty creative, and we will surely not forget these Fibonacci's. So uh, thank you.